We are finally getting a full version of Photoshop on the iPad, guys. Here's why I'm excited. What is up to all my creative friends out there in the world? Charlie Ping is here. It's a great time to be a graphic designer, guys, because we are finally getting a full version of Photoshop on our iPad. And there's a few things that I'm really excited about that I want to go over today. The first one I'm not very excited about actually, and that's the fact that we're not getting this until about 2019 sometime, and they didn't give us an exact date. So we're gonna have to stick with the Adobe Sketch app, which I'm not a huge fan of, so I'm just gonna throw that one away and not use it. I'll continue using Procreate until Photoshop comes out. And that's another thing I wanted to mention. I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna switch from Procreate to Photoshop when it releases. Because if you are a Procreate user, you know how great Procreate is. It's a seamless app, it's smooth. You can use PSD files in it. Um, you can export PSD files from it. So in my eyes, it's a perfect app, but um, I'm gonna wait and see what Photoshop does because I might end up switching. And there's a few things that I'm really excited about that I wanna go over today. The first one is actually the fact that I can open native PSD files on my iPad now, which is amazing. So now I can share all my MacBook Pro PSD files to my iPad and edit them on the go, which gives me a much lighter setup versus having to bring my MacBook Pro with me. The next thing that really excites me is the fact that I can now add text in Photoshop on my iPad, which is amazing because you can't do that in Procreate very easily. There are people that have workarounds with that, but for me, I've never found a true way to add text in Procreate and that kind of bugs me. Currently, I have this extended process to add text to my Procreate art. So basically the way it works for me is I have to transfer my Procreate design to either Illustrator or Photoshop add my text and then bring it back to Procreate to texture it. It's a really long process and it's annoying. So I think that the new full version of Photoshop on iPad is gonna be a game changer for me personally. I think it's gonna save me a lot of time. Um, I'm hoping it works smoothly like I think it will. This next thing I wanted to mention, I'm a little skeptical on, but I'm also a little happy about it too. And that's the fact that they changed the interface of Photoshop to work better with the iPad. So what that means is we're not actually getting the full version of Photoshop on the iPad, meaning it's not gonna look the same. It's gonna have a different interface, but I think it might be a positive thing because if you think about it, if we throw a full version of Photoshop on the iPad, it might be a little clustered. It might be a little uh, busy if that makes sense because um, we're all used to using it it on desktop versions. So um, I think this is a good thing that they changed the interface, but it could be a bad thing. We'll have to wait and see for that one. And because Photoshop works on the cloud, we can now share our files, sync our files from our iPad to our desktop, vice versa, which is a game changer as well, because anytime I edit something on my computer, it's gonna sync on my iPad, so I don't even have to transfer anything. It's just gonna pull up right away. And again, it's gonna allow me to work on a much lighter setup on the go. Another thing that I'm really stoked about is the fact that I can use all my Photoshop textures now on my iPad, because I have a whole library of them. In case you guys didn't know, you can actually buy some of my Photoshop textures on my website, www.charliepangus.com. I will link that in the description below. So those are some of the things that I'm excited about. There are a few things that I'm a little worried about, one of them being no keyboard shortcuts. I'm not quite sure if uh, the iPad version of Photoshop is going to have keyboard shortcuts. I'm not sure if they're going to allow us to add a keyboard and use the shortcuts, or it's just going to be all gestures. I'm not sure, but um, for me, I use keyboard shortcuts for everything when I'm using Photoshop, Illustrator, and other programs. So I'm hoping that they still allow it because I'm much more efficient when I'm using keyboard shortcuts. So that's going to be a little weird not having them. Um, but again, I'm not really sure about this yet. I really hope that they find a way around that. Um, other than that though, the only other thing that I'm worried about is that I hope that they don't limit some of the Photoshop features that we get on the desktop version. Like I hope they don't get rid of symmetry on the iPad or something like that, uh, something that I use all the time. I'm hoping that they really do give us the full version of Photoshop and not half of Photoshop, if that makes sense. Let me know what you guys think about the iPad version of Photoshop in the comment section below. Let's start a conversation. Uh, but that is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. Hit the thumbs up button, it helps my videos perform much better. And don't forget to check the description for my website link and my equipment list and everything else. I have a bunch of helpful links as well as my social media links, so uh, check that out. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next video, peace.